Hello, I am Daryl Weilberg, and I am a Jehovah's Witness in good standing. I work for Jesus Christ, Matthew 23.10. Look it up when you get some time, because it's, in, it's important that you understand where I'm coming from. Today, I'm going to discuss a colloquy of emails that I received from this guy named Jesse. This fellow named Jesse uh, sent me an email the other day. He alleges that he's a Jehovah's Witness. Didn't tell me how long or anything. The Holy Spirit always exposes the apostates. The guy's name is Jesse. Please explain to me how 1914 gets figured out. There have been many changes in the truth. 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 There is one collective prophet, and that is the earthly organization of Jehovah's Witnesses. There is one collective prophet, and that is the earthly organization of Jehovah's Witnesses. There is one collective prophet, and that is the earthly organization of Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, many think that when that word prophet is used, that means that the individual foresees the future events and provides those events to others. That is not correct. You must stop putting the governing body high up on the pedestal expecting men to be, to be perfect. It will not be until after the thousand-year reign of Jesus Christ ends when he releases the devil, and when the remaining humans left over in this world are tested, then, and only then, will they be proclaimed perfect, and therefore placed in the jurisdiction of God the Father Jehovah. because they weren't wrong about Jesus' presence in 1914. That's when Jesus took over in heaven. But this bozo the clown doesn't realize that because he never paid any attention. And what would happen is we correct our understanding. See, that's the new light that's given. Well, first of all, you can tell this moron is an apostate right here because first of all, they don't tell us not to take transfusions. Jehovah God tells us. There is no reasoning from the scriptures that is against what the society puts out, what the governing body puts out, not society. That's wrong to call them the society. See right here, he's an apostate. It's a thousand percent positive that this moron is an apostate. He's not a Jehovah's Witness. I might not have a problem with that if they were really being used by Jehovah. Of course they're used by Jehovah. Just like the apostles in the first century were used by Jehovah. Did they make mistakes? You dipstick? What a stupid statement. See, this guy's a total apostate. Jehovah's always had representation on this earth. Jehovah's always had representation on this earth. Jehovah's always had representation on this earth. And since we Jehovah's Witnesses are the only faith on the face of the earth who obey Jesus, we are the chosen ones. And since we Jehovah's Witnesses are the only faith on the face of the earth who obey Jesus, we are the chosen ones. And since we Jehovah's Witnesses are the only faith on the face of the earth who obey Jesus, we are the chosen ones. Liar! Should you dipstick. You don't have any intelligence. See, this is how stupid this moron is. You're a liar. And then you idiots, apostates, wonder why I call you names. Are you a cannibal? You're a dipstick. Don't write me again, you dipstick apostate. <laughs> you are a true moron, and you got punked by Jehovah. And you got punked by Jehovah. And you got punked by Jehovah. If you had any intelligence, you'd be dangerous. That goes to show you how stupid you are and how apostate reasoning has taken you away from Jehovah. You are such a moron. Now, I'm going to leave you with your demons that are court, you're courting and the apostates you are bedfellows with. You are a propaganda moron pushing false claims. You are stuck on stupid and I cannot fix stupid.